Ahoy there, I'm Tiny Pirate and welcome back to Airport CEO. Now a few things have happened since you last saw this. Mostly I've learned how to play a little better and it turns out that laying down the service roads on this building here totally messed up the delivery of fuel, which is very annoying. So now we have this all whole thing happening and it's going to fill up and then we're going to fill up the little spare tank, which is brilliant. I also renewed the contract on these guys so they can actually go and do that job so they can deliver fuel for us. So I don't know why I couldn't just lay down tarmac first. Like I was quite keen on putting down a service road just to make it so it doesn't look like these guys are just standing around on mud, but nope. Can't seem to do it right now, just part of the game. Also upgraded this lot all to tarmac, it just felt a bit better. I know we're a country airport, but we're not that quite so hick bum sort of airport thing, right? So the other thing I thought was, do, do we want like a medium stand? It's quite, it's quite big. So actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna put one more small stand in just because I do I do want enough to uh, maybe even two I want to do we no we don't want to go taxi weighing all the way over there we'll do that I do want enough to uh, make money from this right we don't want to be left totally uh, sort of skint by not having enough aircraft traveling around now we have quite a few other little jobs to do so the first thing is here as you'll notice um, I've put in these two food areas, uh, there's a there's a store, and look, I can actually sign a contract for someone to come in and work it. And you see they have different requirements, and I don't know what the stars are, rent per day, so we can't get the three star shops because we don't, to us it's not big enough. But we can get that two star shop, for LIGO, so that sounds excellent to me, we'll have them come in, sign a contract for this cafe. What is wrong with you, not big enough, and you need more fridges? What about a two-star shop? Need more fridges? Well, I think we'll just put one more fridge in for you. Uh, a fridge display. Um, I don't know. I had it all what I thought really neatly laid out. I don't know. Maybe we'll just do like... I don't know. We'll just do it like that, for example. And then we'll sign a contract there. These guys are rushing over here. The other area or issue I need to really think about quite carefully is zoning. And uh, one of the things I want to do is zone uh, basically this entire area over here. Because we've got, a, we've got baggage handling to do very... Come here. We've got baggage handling to do very soon. No. Secure zone. You don't want to do it. What about all of this? No. Not happy. That's a bit disappointing. Well, we'll come back to that maybe. So we do have some baggage handling problems. I don't know if problems is the right term. We've got baggage handling to do right now and it will want us to work through uh, the conveyor belt system and all of that stuff. So I have procured the, uh, where are you, economy procurement. I've started to procure the baggage handling and it takes forever. So I'm just going to basically let that unlock and uh, yeah, get that one done pretty promptly. Procurement of our handling service is now basically done, which is very important because we have a whole bunch of tasks to do. We better slow things down, otherwise we're going to run out of money. We're looking a little bitterly small, but I don't know why we're getting more money now. We're not doing anything, but I'll, I'll just let the game give us a very small amount of money. So, a check-in desk, cargo bay, conveyor belt, aircraft stand. So I know what to do here because I have done it before. One of the things I do want to get cracking with is a... Um, what is it going to be? It's going to be uh, some doors. So we'll go for a 3x3 three three there. And um, I don't know, maybe a 3x3 three three, uh, there. And we'll put in a large door. What we're going to need is... Where are you? A check... Uh, not a check-in. A... A boarding desk and ideally one per stand I believe I'm not sure if that is practical um I think we can probably fit four across here now that will do I suppose so we'll let them crack on with that we're going to connect these up because we're going to need that the other thing we need is a place to handle the, the baggage. And I suspect that a room over here is going to be required. 
It actually needs to be, and it's an item, is it an item or a, f a structure? It is a, oh, I'm not a weather station. Infrastructure, uh, it might be items. Where are you? Items, items, a baggage bay. So as you can see, these this is massive and it must be placed inside and it needs quite a bit of room around it as well because uh, vehicles have to get in and out to reach it and they have to uh, service uh, the baggage system and put in security and stuff like that. So honestly, it will need to be, I would say, at least, should we make it a 10 by 10? I think we shall. And what I'm going to do is demolish about that much of the walls. Yep, yeah, that's going to be right. The other thing we will need to do is... She I might just put a little bit more walls down because what I want to do is to uh, I'm going to need to put in a security door or a door of some kind and oh, that's the other thing there's a secure zone here I need to have staff come through and able to exit and enter um why is it it's sort of weirdly aligned okay that's fine actually you know what let's just cancel that one uh, we'll just bulldoze the whole lot here and uh, we need to put in a uh, security checkpoint um, and we'll cancel that one put a wall in and we're going to allow staff to come through this area and uh, we'll probably let them cross the road to yeah i think i want to oh good service desks are coming in uh something like that and we will delete a couple of walls there and put in a crosswalk without a crosswalk staff can't go anywhere which is uh very distressing for them they can't cross the street which you know as you'd expect uh gets annoying so we need to connect to stands um connect to stand uh, and connect stand and connect stand so that should be good and that's good now these need to be connected to a baggage bay and we're going to put that up now so they need to get cracking with that we will need some doors i feel that always looks nice structure a large door i think it's going to be and hopefully we don't run out of money too much Oh, don't. It's one too small for a large door. Okay. Large doors it is. Medium door there. Um, go there. And this building is going in. Good. We want... Not a cafe counter. Not that. We want the baggage bay. And I think we're going, we are going to put it, I think, like that will be fine and I'm gonna just knock that down and then we need to put a service road actually no I want to get it a bit further away from this crosswalk so I think what we'll do is we'll just put it a bit further down so I'll get the service road in first it doesn't make sense to have the service road cross into uh, that area so we'll do that into where we're gonna have people walking baggage bay like that and then we'll put another whoop, we'll put another service road down here once this is complete that should give us absolute a ton of room which is really re really required it's actually quite surprising i guess it's because it's a 2d game right so you can't have um okay let's stop with that one cool that is actually not too terrible i think so what i can do now is connect to the baggage bay and this is just saying that all the bags for this counter are going to come come up here and then we get to mess around with actually building the baggage system which is pretty cool if i don't say so myself so let me have a look we need to slow down a little bit or we will go broke uh secure zones i want another secure zone all the way across to the other side of the road um is it gonna secure in here as well okay i think we've got it secure 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 and uh, can we just do one on this road here? Just make the whole place like this is not where normal people are allowed to go. 
don't think down here matters too much. Got tons of fuel. Okay, so now we are in quite a good situation. What we do need, though, is a baggage and underground belt. And I suspect the game is going to be a little bit cheeky and it's not going to let us unlock everything as fast as I would like, which will mean we have to lay things out kind of twice, which is a touch annoying. But it is okay. It's kind of a tutorial. All right, so we've got that. Now, one of the things we need to do is to allow these to have... Um, right, there we go, security. Oh, it actually has a signed security gate as well. I guess the commercial ones do need that. So we've got to turn those on. Baggage to this. This is on. That's that. And now we will need to connect to the baggage bay here. Okay, so this is all part of the the logic figuring out, which I think is quite powerful. It can be a little unintuitive though, so it's not working yet, but that's okay. So, okay, we have room for, um, actually I feel like putting in a little wall here just to make this look more like a, like a large massive barn that has a, um, yeah, that has people coming and going from secure areas and what have you. So we have the security checkpoint. We've got our staff are going to come in here. Uh, people are going to come in here in a little airport. Staff going to go through here. We need to set up the um, baggage belt. So this is where things get funny. So we want an overground belt. And I'm thinking down here would be a good spot for the baggage to come. And this is going to be like a baggage pickup area. So not a secure baggage pickup area, but that's what you sort of expect in my mind when you're dealing with a um, with a small airport. That's uh, really common. It's quite common in New Zealand for the small airports not to have a uh, particularly like secure area. I don't know how common that is overseas. But for small, really, for small rural airports, pretty common here. And so we just want to make it loop. And oh, oh, give me a, uh, just demolish that one. So we want to make it loop, and we want to make it come back uh, to itself, so that any bags that are sort of left behind are just gonna get dumped there, and uh, we're gonna have that baggage come. For just, I think, down here. Yeah, so there should be plenty of room. And then what we're going to do is we've got to connect it to the outbound. So that's here. Outbound baggage is going to come here. And then it's going to go underground, which is a different color. And it actually needs a ton of room because we're going to have to do some uh, fairly extreme engineering to do a whole bunch of scanning of this uh, of this baggage. Uh, take that one out. It's not going to be too bad. What? Just baggage belt. There we go. Why are you even... Oh, fair enough. I, I don't know. So we'll do it like that. So it, it is going to need a... F Whoa, why are you... Are you happy? Oh, no, no. Ah, that's not the one we want. We want a underground. So... This, this can be, or oh, this can be a real pain. So we'll come down to, actually I think we will go here, all the way over to here. And what we don't want to do is get too close to the other baggage belt. <laughs> Whoops, one more. Or you, you have weird problems, it's really super annoying. So that's the return. That's that there, goes around the corner. Cool, right, that one's sorted. Now, of course, back here we have a whole baggage belt uh, coming off from the uh, these these bad boys. So I kind of like just going straight to the underground, like... Yeah, just... I don't know why you insist on doing that, you silly game. Let's try and sort it out by doing that. Why, why would you do that? Why? Uh... Well, I know what does work, so we're going to do what does work, which is go like this and like this, and then like that. So I think that will... Uh, will that do the trick? Maybe not, maybe not. I think what we will do is put in normal ones, because I do worry about weird angles. You'll see when the baggage systems are built, but it can be, it can be a touch confusing, shall we say. Um, so that's going to be that one, uh, that one and that one and uh, then we shall go underground like this and 
all the way from here. Okay, almost there. I actually quite like this part. I'm a sucker, I must admit. I'm a sucker for any game which has conveyor belts. It's just, there's something very catnip-like about conveyor belts. I don't know what it is. It just is, it just is the rule. And like that. So, baggage is going to come zooming in here. And then we want to take it underground. And I think I got that exactly about right. Um, yeah, I think I did. All the way to here. And then uh, up here. No, uh, there we go. And just going to hold down control to delete that. Then to here. And then a uh, baggage belt. Is that the green one? Yes. Bam! Ooh, okay, so that will work. Let's have a look, conveyor belt lines. That is a good idea, actually. I'll leave those on. So that will work. We've just got to wait for them to complete it. And actually, we need a new zone. And it's going to be baggage claim. And uh, it's going to be this entire massive area. Right. That is that is baggage claim. Stay, stay on baggage claim. That's good. So do, do these look like they're working? I, I think they are. I think they're going to work just fine. Bag's going to come zooming in here, come through here, connected to here. That's connected up to everything. Oh, uh, we need to click the zone. That can be a little bit confusing. Connect to baggage bay. Activate. <gasps> it works. It works. I actually uh, hired a bunch of staff already. So I do have... Okay, where are we? I do have staff, like airport staff, security staff, ramp staff. So that should all be pretty happy. Operate conveyor belt system, ramp agent, service trucks. Oh, that is a good point. Uh, baggage handling in the operations panel. So let's order. Let's, we've got four stands. Let's order four service trucks and operations. This is where it gets really weird. Turn on the ramp agents. Engage the baggage handling. Brum, brum, brum. I don't know quite why we have these little toggles. I don't know when you turn it off. Maybe when you're, I don't know, when you're broke or something? Not clear. Okay, so are you happy now, tutorial? Are you contented? Uh, yes, you are content. So, oh, procure, okay, here we go. This is where the next bunch of procurement take place. So we need to procure a tilt tray, which is like a, a handling system for, for, for the belts. You can kind of, send belt various places. I'm going to get the baggage scanner now as well because I know it's going to want it. Travel document scanner we've got. Is that actually... Where would that even go? Is that actually a thing? Do I have to worry about it? Airport screens. Actually, I do want to put some in so we might as well put a couple of those in as well while we're here. Uh, we can put some next to the gate. That always seems to be a good idea. Uh, where else? Uh, one in the departure lounge. Small what is a small security checkpoint? Must okay if you want to. I don't, I don't know why you'd want a small one. Maybe just for very small amounts of security, I suppose. Office desks, large plant. Put one. I don't know. Put one here. One either side of all these stands. Make our place look a bit more beautiful. Fridge display. No, no, no. That's all cafe and food. I don't think we have any other security stuff. We might want to build a toilet eventually, but for now. This is almost this is almost looking good. We're almost ready to open. Which is pretty exciting. I do actually that's one of the points. I wanna make sure we've got seating. Because we don't really have any. So gate seating. I feel a bit bad cramming them in. But hey, I've been in airports, they cram me in. I'm gonna cram in the virtual citizens as well, because that's how I roll all about being a big mean airport operator uh, okay that's good 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 what uh, trash cans probably a good idea uh, put one um, yeah you sort of want to put one at the end of the rows but I don't know I'll put one over here chuck some around the place near security uh, near the near the there, whatever that is, down near baggage handling as well. We're talking in the corner here and here and near the doors, probably out by the bus stops and uh, various taxi stands as well. And where is my not a sofa? Where can I just get like an outdoor seat? Maybe I can't. Maybe it's under infrastructure. 
Mm, nah. Oh, actually, well, why don't we just go for the seating inside as well? So gate seating here seems like a good idea for people waiting for their um, loved ones uh, so as they as they are. And down here as well. Um, yes. Okay, cool. That's that's pretty good. I mean, that's a nice small looking airport. I think it's looking very cute. Connected. Right, we've done that. Uh, so we have everything connected to cargo bays, uh, desks, everything that's turned on, and the procurement system is coming. So let's sort that out. Okay, it looks like we've got it. So the tilt bay allows you to tilt. See what it says? It shows like a left and right. Um, I don't know why we would want that. I'm, I'm just going to put it in. I'm just going to build it because it's told me to. You guys. Ugh. Tilt bays. Can, oh, they can't be built in the baggage claim. All right. So just put one there. There you go. Get my tutorial points done. So uh, where is it? Uh, got a conveyor belt system. Okay, so we okay, so we did it. Okay, let's just bulldoze that. Because I don't actually have any logic or control I want to put in. So tilt systems allow you to select like baggage go different directions depending on the flights they're on and stuff like that. So you can actually set up hubs for different airlines, which is pretty cool, and have their bags go to different places. Uh, scanning station, security employee, scan a bag. Okay, so this is where we uh, need to get into setting up. Actually, I, I think what I could do can I just turn things on? You know what? I think I can probably open the airport and get a few things moving while we build on this because otherwise we will go very broke. The system right now works, kind of. It does work, actually. Um, I hope we don't break everything by turning everything on, but I'm willing to just see what happens. Open all security. What does it actually do? Open all security? Um... Uh, cleaning service, no, 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 no. Always accept general aircraft, that's fine. Okay, now we've actually got contracts, I've just remembered as well. So these are what are being offered, and we actually have an airline to worry about. So I think I'll go for Maple. Reminds me of Beardo, one of my favorite Patreons. Wonderful chap that he is. And we should start being able to receive general airline panel flight schedule. Don't have any flights to schedule. Uh, there is somewhere there's a flight panel, and I'm not sure where it is. But yes, we are going to need to um, have flights arriving soon. We'll probably see general aviation flights. So airport's open. Uh, people are going to come and go at some point. Just to, Oh, actually, what are you doing? You're waiting for security or something. Okay, I'm just going to leave you there. We'll figure it out. There's some stuff. We've got no flights coming through. Oh, we actually want doors. <laughs> Almost forgot. We don't want them just wandering off. Uh, doors, doors, doors. Bathrooms we can worry about later. Doors. Okay. Oh, actually, got to be careful about this. It is possible to kind of mess up your zones, I believe, uh, by having these gaps. So there and there. Yes. Now, where? I don't know where the flight planner is, so let's crack on and build our scanning system out here. So... What do we want? Cues are fine. Conveyor belts. So, items... We... Okay, so it's going to go that way. And then... Okay, so... A bag scanner is... Okay, baggage belts. So as soon as it gets into this area, I want to start setting up... Um, like, bag scanners. And... I'm going to go like that yep so we're just going to start ripping up uh, this stuff and putting in uh, various scanners so let me have a little look actually bags and like that and we're going to run belt this way just normal above ground belt along here and then it's going to come up here where we're going to get rid of uh, troublesome bags in a bag destroyer. So any bag that fails a security check goes into the cargo annihilator, which is... Uh, why, why are you... What, 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 what is wrong with you? Oh, uh, can't... No, should be able to cross. 
actually I think maybe they can't cross so I shall uh, delete that uh, and we'll put the bag destroyer there okay so that belt has all gone so I want to be a little bit paused on here while we get this in so the scanner is going to go here and it's going to dump um, bags onto this and likewise when bags come up come up over here we're going to dump over here right like that a bag destroyer can go there what what is this okay so mark for demo demolition okay do we have everything we want there are other procurement Oh, there are other scanners. A specific scanner and a baggage scanning station. Okay, we'll just let them running because I don't think they're 100% necessary. They probably add to your security. I haven't been able to determine that yet. But what we'll do is get these belts in. And then I think we can just... So, overground, belt. And then, uh, and then another overground belt. And then an underground belt underground belt and likewise over here I think we'll just go all the way that way again with the underground belt and we shall put in an overground belt here and put another scanner for incoming bags uh, overground a bag scanner and is that the right way around yes it is and then another overground and oh gosh there's so much work to do overground uh, like that one that goes like that and an underground okay cool so oh, did, we, did we yes we did destroy a bit of belt here so we better fix that up underground okay so that should all be working okay cool haven't seen any flights arrive yet, which is a bit of a shame, but I'm sure that will happen soon enough. And we are very broke. Very broke indeed. One thing I forgot to do was click open on the runway. So I think that means we will now select... F oh, here we go. First little plane is arriving. Here it comes, coming in. We should see a whole bunch of activities start to happen when it gets in. <laughs> That's cool. So this is apparently Wellington to Christchurch. And apparently that's a five hour flight. That's pretty slow. No one's on it. It needs fuel and not much else. It's a little Cessna. Maybe it is five hours in a Cessna. I don't know. Hopefully they've figured that out. So I can see here that it's going for refueling. It doesn't. Again, these don't have any stuff. And I don't know if it's just. They just. Here we go. I can see the fuel truck going in. That's kind of cool. Did they just pass through each other in some really bizarre way? I think they did. That seems... Are you... Okay, you are waiting there. And are you turning around to take off? Or what are you doing? Okay, it seems obvious to me we need to lay in a bit more service roads and stuff when we're ready. And off that plane goes. A zoom. I think it took off. It's a bit hard to tell. I heard it. So this one is idling, filling up with fuel. I don't see any staff, which is unusual. And I need to figure out how to invite star uh, airlines in. Ah... So this is our departures. Oh, that's kind of cute. We do actually have these little aircraft tooling around. And that's brilliant. I'm really pleased with that. We don't exactly... What, what, are, these peop, what are these people doing? Employees. These are employees just hanging around. Fair enough. They don't have anything to do because we don't have any scheduled flights for them yet. And you know what? I think that's probably something I need to figure out in the next episode. What I am pleased about is I'm pretty sure our scanning system is working beautifully. I'm just going to have a quick squiz, make sure all the arrows are going the right way. So I dump our scan down to our baggage zone. Yeah, I think this is looking pretty good. I think Wellington Airport is almost ready for commercial flights. Hopefully, we shall get some soon. Anyway, until next time, I've been Tiny Pirate. Thanks for watching me build Wellington Airport. Good night. <laughs>